So here we are at SFJ. Look who I see. Medusa's coming home today. Just got Medusa back from her paint sealant. She's looking really good. Had a lot of adhesive from old decals and badges to take off. And for as old as she is, this bug couldn't look any better without new paint. So she is looking really pretty. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Well, it's been a long awaited video, at least for me. I've been wanting to do an intro video for Medusa for months and months. And since we got her back, we've just been really busy. So if any of you out there have been waiting, I apologize, but here we are. So Medusa, she is a 2015 JKU Sport. She currently has 106,500 miles on her. I'm gonna read off of a list of everything that was done before we bought her from the previous owner. And then I will go over what we've done since then. So here we go. Um, she has a Dana Ultimate 44 front axle. It was a crate axle with an E-locker and alloy axle shafts and 488 gears. She has Rancho steering knuckles heavy duty ones. Um, she has a front and rear big brake kit, a JKS high steer kit. The rear axle has been also re-geared to the 488 and a Detroit True Track. She's got a, she had JKS three and a half inch lift with lower control arms, sway bar disconnects, uh, the manual sway bar disconnects, front and rear track bars and Fox shocks. Uh, Rubicon rock sliders, um, American Racing aluminum wheels, Geo Lander 37 by 1250 by 17 mud terrains, um, a Highline off-road front bumper, grill, hoop, and lower skid, Highline off-road rear bumper, tire carrier, and high lift mount, a Warren VRS. VR10S winch, a flash cal pulsar performance tuner, flash cal calibration tool, windshield grabbers, remote start, a spicer front drive shaft, and bushwhacker fender flares. So that's what she had on her when we got her. Some of those things have changed, and I'll go over that here in a little bit. My buddy Scott works at Simpson Family Jeeps. So you hear me talk about them all the time was selling this Jeep so that he could buy a Gladiator. I was not in the market at the time to buy anything, but it was a good deal in my opinion with all of the modifications that had been done. So long story short, I ended up buying it, knowing that there were a couple things to work out because again, it's an older Jeep with a lot of miles and a lot of use. So I was willing to take that on. So last, it was about November time frame. I went out, we test drove, or I test drove it, and we talked and went over everything, um, top to bottom, inside and out. So I knew exactly what I was getting into. So since then, uh, we had her back for about a month or two, and then I wanted to start getting some things done, so we dropped her off. And it was just one of those things where we had a laundry list of things and we just kind of paid for it as we got the money and as they were able to get it into the rotation. So we finally um, got all the things done that we wanted to do through Simpson Family Jeep and we got her back. I'm sorry, it was sometime June, July timeframe. I don't remember exactly right now. Um, so since then, this is the stuff we have done. I'm sorry, there's a lot of reading off of pages, but I can't remember all this stuff off the top of my head. So after we read all, all through this, we'll go ahead and walk around and see a lot of this stuff. We got new JKS upper control arms to try to correct some of the steering issues. We got new OEM door seals, Kentrol uh, black powder coated hinges, because some of the hinges were looking a little rough. 
So we wanted to get something that we wouldn't have to worry about any more rusting. Our rear passenger door had some rust problems and fortunately at uh, SFJ, they were parting out a Jeep the exact same year in color. So we did, uh, you know, we bought the door and then they swapped all of the guts and everything over to where we don't have a rusty door. Uh, we ended up getting some new Fox 2.0 external reservoir shocks. The shocks that were on her were a bit worn, which again, we knew that at the time. Uh, we ended up getting some new tires. We got some 37 by 1250 by 17 Toyo Open Country RTs. And I put Natasha's previous wheels, my fuels, uh, they're on here now as well. And Natasha's got all kinds of new stuff, so you'll have to stay tuned for that video, but we got a lot of stuff going on. She's currently at SFJ right now, or I call it the spa. So she's got a lot of work. We're gonna have another update video on her in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned. Um, we upgraded the winch to a Warren Xeon 10S, put on a new fair lead and ultra hook from Factor 55. Uh, when, unfortunately, when we went to get the winch switched out, that's a tongue twister, uh, we realized the vacuum pump was start, it was on its last legs. It had to get relocated from where it was in the bumper. So instead of band-aiding it, we just, while we were there, um, Neil, the owner, he went ahead and rush ordered a vacuum pump over. Scott had to relocate the pump from where it was currently in the front of the bumper to on the inside in the, under the hood. So I'll show you a picture of that. And we went to his shop, he fabricated a bracket real quick, came out really nice, brought it back, mounted it, and I was on my way. They can do that kind of stuff, that's why I go there. We had a full interior detail done here at home with Aaron and myself. We just went through as best we could over the course of a couple weeks when we had the time. Uh, we debadged the entire exterior of the Jeep and then we put some new stickers on the on the hood. She has uh, some beautiful dark purple Medusa uh, decals now. And most recent, we got a bullet point grab bar. I'll show you that as well, just for you know future uh, mounting needs for radios and whatnot. So that's pretty much a very, very long story short to catch you up to date. What I'm currently working on is some minor rust repair. I did a little touch up before we got the winch on the front bumper. We sanded down, scuffed up the rear bumper and have that repainted. I'm not a painter or a body guy. I just scuffed it up, got most of the service rust, put some rust encapsulator paint, encapsulator paint on there and it's better. And the spare tire carrier and all of its parts, we sent out to Screaming Turtle powder coatings and had him blast it down and repowder coat it for us because there was just way too many small pieces. I don't have the stuff to blast all that kind of rust. So we're picking that up on in two days. We currently have a flock of Canadian geese flying over. So enjoy that sound. So after all that, we're finally getting to go out with the top off, the doors off, mainly just beach cruising with it right now until we get more comfortable before we start taking it off road. There's still a couple more things we wanna make sure are good to go before we start taking her off road. And yeah, so about a week ago, my wife was coming home from running errands. It was about 11, 11.30 in the morning driving down the highway and a deer jumps out in front of her. So that caused some issues. She's okay. The Jeep is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. We're working with our insurance. And in a couple days, we're dropping her back off at SFJ 4x4 so that they can you know, do what they do to see if there's any further damage that I can't just see just by looking at it. They're gonna assess you know, the basically the suspension, the steering components and all that. So another setback, but that's right. We're patient and this is, this is a marathon that we're in right now. We're not trying to do any kind of a sprint. So as soon as we find out what's going on with all that, I will definitely uh, come back on and let you guys know. Um, I've been doing a lot of shorts 
instead of full length videos because most people don't want to spend you know the time to sit here and listen to me babble on about stuff so just be looking out for when I put up shorts because that way it's kind of like an update thing I don't want to start using Facebook and Instagram and all this other stuff I'll try to just keep it all right here so if you you know want to stay up to date with Medusa and all of her drama and then like I said I got another update coming with Natasha she's getting all kinds of big girl parts put on and Phoebe's just Phoebe we got some plans coming up with her too so stay tuned for that the California trip I talked about a while ago it's still on and we're gonna be going in January and uh, it'll mainly just be a road trip to help out my daughter while her husband's on deployment but we're still gonna be going out to California so hopefully we'll get to see some cool stuff won't be doing any crazy off-roading because we're just taking Phoebe and uh, we got a lot of stuff coming up in the next couple months so stay tuned I also wanted to mention that next weekend I will be picking up Natasha from SFJ and I will be going with them to SOR for a group ride for the day so that ought to be exciting and we'll get some good footage from that so make sure you stay tuned some more off-roading videos are coming soon all right now that you've been updated on everything we're gonna go ahead and just do a, a walk around it's starting to rain just a little bit so I think we'll be all right but that way you can kind of see everything I've been talking about so here we go all right so like I was talking about got some new shocks in there they've been really nice so far Here's our Toyos. And if anybody's watched my channel before, you'll recognize those wheels off of Natasha. There's Medusa decal. And if you look really close, you'll notice little snakes. And that's the new winch. And I did a little bit of touch up between that recovery point and that recovery point just so it have some clean paint for when we put the new fair lead and hook on and as you can see I still have more work to do but it's been so hot and humid that it's not great for painting which I found that out and I'll show you later but it's overall in pretty good shape so we're gonna do some scuff up and touch up and I know I said I had some rock rails those are currently off because we're going to be scuffing those up and repainting those here in the near future. Here's the rock rails that we're going to be working on. They're not too bad. Just a little surface rust, but I got a cool tool for that, which I'll show you in a future video. But we'll be scuffing up those and doing the same process we did for the rear bumper. Here's the rear bumper that Aaron and I scuffed up. I mean, I haven't watched this in the last couple days, but... It had some surface rust issues and this right here is for the spare tire carrier which i'm going to be getting all those parts back soon and then i touched up the hitch just a little bit but looks a lot better my goal was just to make it look better than it was and to try to get rid of some of that rust the only bad thing is all that pitting i read the directions after i painted because that's how smart i am and I learned if the humidity is too high that that's going to happen. And when I did it, the humidity was very high. But oh well. Gives a character. So for now, the spare lives in here. And we put on some XG cargo bags that you may recognize from Phoebe because she has the same ones. And these things, if you haven't ever heard of them, go to their site. I'm telling you. You'll love these things. They're amazing. All kinds of room. We keep just random stuff depending on the trip. But I'm a tall dude and my arm goes all the way back past my elbow. So they have Molly on all the sides. And these tearaway bags that you can unzip them and take them wherever you need depending on what you want to use them for. We have not taken the seats out of this and we're not going to take the seats because we got to have one Jeep with seats in it. And then typical JK, we've had the 76 designs mount put on 
is set up for the first part of this video. These are the grab handles. We're gonna be getting some for the back too. These are wild boar. They work out really nice. And then we have the bullet point mount. We have the other ball, we just don't need it yet, but we're gonna use that for when we need to use our handheld GMRSs for trips. But overall, it's in really good shape. We got these door pockets online because the net ones were kind of like all tore up. So all four doors have these. And then I know it's not exciting to look at, but our new OEM gaskets. And our beautiful control black stainless steel hinges. Amazing. And then give me a second, I'll open up the hood and I'll show you that bracket I was talking about. Okay, now we're under the hood. I still haven't quite gotten to detailing this yet. Again, I only, I do not like heat. So when it's hot, things have to just wait, but it's, it's really not that bad. Most of it just surfaced dirt and dust. But here's that bracket that Scott made literally in about, I don't know, from idea to cardboard template to finished product minus the paint in probably less than an hour. So this is where it lives now. I painted it when I got home. And then, so some things that I wanna start working on, obviously I wanna start cleaning this up just a little bit, get some of that off of there just because I like things to be clean. The headlights sometime in the future, they're kind of fogged over and I want LEDs, but other things have priority right now. And then we'll upgrade the, the fog lights too, but they work. So we don't usually go out too much at night. Here's the fender flares that Scott had put on, the Bushwhackers, I like them, they're a good look. And just how shiny is this girl? Man, I love it. So I think that's about it. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm glad I finally got this one made for you. So now you've met Medusa, and as things progress with her recovery from the deer incident, I'll keep you all informed. And again, if you want to stay tuned and subscribe, we're going to be having more Natasha content coming up soon. So until next time, drop a comment, hit the like button and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon. Take care.